Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to Legend of Zelda. So, last time I realized I forgot to talk about one of the enemies in the uh, dungeon. Uh, the little squishy things that look like choo-choos are called gels. And I completely forgot to go over them because, well, there's not a whole lot really to talk about about them. They're one of the weakest enemies in the game. They are very simple and easy to kill. Unlike Leavers here, which love coming up right under you. Ah, there we go. Stupid Leaver. Anyway, uh, yes, uh, the fun thing about the Boomerang is it doesn't really cause damage to most enemies. Uh, very weak enemies they will kill. But uh, most enemies, it just stuns them. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? I don't know where I am. I'm trying to think. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yes, this is the right way. These are P-Hats. P-Hats are one of the very annoying enemies in the game because you can only attack them when they are not moving. That is the most annoying and one of the most annoying enemies in this game. Anyway, we are here! I think I went the wrong way. But let's explore! This is a shop! Buy something, will ya? If I had 80 uh, rupees, I could buy some arrows. But sadly, I don't. These enemies are tech tykes, which in most circumstances, blue enemies are uh, stronger, but tech tykes, I think the blue ones are actually weaker, which is really, really interesting, to be honest. And uh, I know where I am. I know where I am now. Even with a map, I lose my, uh, lose my way. These guys are moblins. Moblins, moblins, whatever you want to call them. They're uh, little nasty guys that shoot arrows at you that are... Ah, uh, nasty little creatures. Um, where do I want to go? Friggin' dodging arrows. I don't know where I am. I want to go up. And if you're standing perfectly aligned with them, you can actually knock their arrows away, which is very nice, but only, only if you are standing next... Or, perfectly in line with them. Here we go. And some more Octorox. Most are blue ones and red ones. And also with uh, Octorox, you can hit away their shots with your shield uh, as long as you're not attacking and you're actually in line with them. And here is a new enemy which I will activate one, but I'm going to save first for a big reason. These guys are freaking annoying. And they have a habit of either being super slow, super fast, and if you touch them from the front, uh, you are most likely going to take damage because they have the weirdest hitbox ever. Anyway, here is level two. This dungeon's name is Moon. So. Let's get to it. New enemy in here? Ropes. That is what their name is. Their name is Rope. They are the common snake enemy of Zelda games. Uh, I'm trying to think of how many games they've appeared in. I think they only appear in uh, the 2D Zelda games. Their first appearance was here, and they came back in... Uh, uh, da, da, da. A link to the past. I'm trying to think if a version of them appeared in uh, Zelda 2 or not. I'm trying to stun one of you. Why will you not stun? You know what? Fine. <laughs> yeah. One left, I, I get the uh, stop time power. Anyway. Do not miss any rooms. Yeah, this is one of the dungeons that you can completely skip 
this uh, this room. I don't believe it actually gives you anything at all. Oh no, it gives you a key. So if you did the trick where you got the uh, extra key from the first dungeon, uh, you can entirely skip that one room. Yes, another heart. And of course, after I kill the thing, I get the stopwatch. And here, these guys, these are the gels. They kind of look like choo-choos, but they're really not, and the boomerang can actually kill them. One of the few e enemies the boomerang can actually kill. The boomerang can also uh, kill Keys. So, those are the two enemies. Uh, everything else, it really just stuns them. Stupid Gorias. And these aren't even the hard ones. Because blue enemies are a lot stronger than red ones, uh, Goria, the blue Gorias are actually take like six hits instead of three, making them one of the hardest uh, singular enemies, common enemies, well, you, uh, I would say. Oh, and they are just annoying as all get out freaking. And that's what I was saying. I am going to die a lot in this game. Because it is, it is actually very, very, very difficult. A very difficult game. Very fun, but difficult. And you will always spawn with three hearts, regardless. So, uh, sadly, because I have an extra heart, uh, because when I die, I will only spawn with three. So, if you had three, you would automatically get your... Uh, sword beam power, but because I have four hearts, I'd have to pick up an extra heart first, which none of these enemies are wanting to give me. And now the Gorias are back. Ah, come on, die. And yeah, like most projectiles, you can actually bat away their uh, boomerangs with your shield. If you're not attacking and you're facing them. There we go. And I'm actually going to go in here because I forgot to go in here because this is an easier room because all it has are gels and the map. And that is why the dungeon is called Moon. So there we go. Map. Uh, up here were ropes. And then, my utter favorite part of this dungeon I'm going to do next. That sarcasm right there, because it is freaking annoying. I may actually cut it out, because it is, it is honestly that annoying to do. It is. Uh, so in here, you have three blue Goria with stone statues. And stone, sash uh, stone statues are... I don't know why it always pauses on uh, loading a save state. The stone statues are what fire projectiles at you. And as I've said, it is freaking annoying. So I will be right back as I kill them. And I did it and actually took me a lot less time than uh, the first take of this game where I got through... Dungeon 2 before reviewing all my footage and noticing there was a uh, lots of frame dropping. Anyway, what they drop is this, the blue boomerang, magical boomerang. It just has a further reach, really. And if you bomb that wall, you actually get a passage to the next room, which honestly is kind of useless because there's, um, I can't remember if there's a bomb bowl section on the wall above it. But either way, you kind of have to come back here to uh, this little mini-boss. It's not really a mini-boss, and these guys' names escape me. It's like uh, Mongol, Mon something like that. In fact, it's bugging me so much. Um, their names are... I know it starts with an M. Moldrum. Their name is Moldrum. That is their name. So, 
kill the moldrums. They're kind of just... I, they're supposed to be little worm things, but they're just little balls that float around. It's like, ah, you've killed me. And they drop a key. And coming back over here, and I've said I don't remember if there is a bombable wall on the top, which allows you to skip the uh, mini-boss here. But there's really no point in it. I mean, there isn't. It's just a, a wall you can bomb for, like, no good reason. In here, lots and lots of ropes. Which is okay, because I actually have my power sword, because in the room with the massive amounts of blue uh, Goria, they dropped a fairy, which actually saved my life. Oh, that was, that was awesome, actually. And I took him out using bombs, because I was having no luck with uh, sword. Anyway, yes, Magical Boomerang, it is faster than the original, the normal one, and it actually spans the whole room. The only problem is you can't throw it again until it fully comes back to you, and it doesn't grab items, which is really annoying. Old Man! The Dungo dislikes smoke! That is kind of giving you a big, big hint. And to be honest, it, I, I'm not even sure if that hint is needed. Well, I guess if you are a new player to the game, then it would be because you're like, wow, this is awesome. Ah, freaking. Also, when you get the blue boomerang, all the enemies get the uh, magical boomerang. Which is a little annoying. So, here we go. Let's switch our item. I'm pressing the wrong button because select pauses the game and start brings your menu up. Anyway, the boss that should not be a boss at all is so freaking easy to kill compared to Aquamantis. It is, I mean, you can't attack it with your sword, but uh, there are two ways to kill it. You can either make it eat two bombs, or if you're lucky, uh, put a bomb on it like that, and one, one sword strike will kill it. So if you make it eat a bomb, it takes two bombs. If you get it, have the hits, eh, smoke hit it, it takes one hit with your sword. I, it's so, so easy. I don't know why they made it a boss. Anyway, that's level two. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, level two, freaking easy. Really, really, really easy. Uh, level three, I will travel to next time, but for now, I'm going to end it here. This has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back next time with more Legend of Zelda. See you guys then.